Welcome to Behavioral Health Today, a podcast brought to you by the Triad Network. This podcast is designed to share trending topics occurring within the world and our communities and bring them a behavioral and mental health perspective. Welcome to Behavioral Health Today, a Triad production. I'm your host, Charlie Dixon. My guest today is Curtis Lee Thomas. Curtis is a leading corporate mindfulness trainer and public speaker. Known for working with Fortune 500 companies like Nike, NASA, and the Capital Group. His company, Breathwork Detox, was named Top Employee Wellbeing Provider of 2023 by HR Magazine. As board chair of the Just Breathe Foundation, he collaborates with global brands, elite athletes, and celebrities to address mental health challenges. Curtis developed the Breathwork Detox method, featured on the Today Show, and offers teacher training programs, recently named 2024 Program of the Year by Best Holistic Life Magazine. Honored as the 2024 Entrepreneur of the Year, he is also a number one international best-selling author of books including The World is Yours, The Secrets Behind the Secret, How to Thrive in the Age of Anxiety, and the children's book, The Secret of Life. We're excited to have Curtis with us today to discuss his breathwork detox method and his approach to emotional health. Welcome to the show, Curtis. Charlie, thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Thank you. So as we get started today, uh, can you tell us what led you to explore the ancient art of deep diaphragmic breathing and how did you integrate it with guided motivational messages in your work? Yeah. So I was uh, on this healing journey for myself and on this journey, I was collecting certifications. So I was a certified life coach, a hypnotherapist, NLP practitioner, a sports science, fitness professional, a Reiki master. So I had all these, these skill sets. And when I found this specific uh, technique of deep diaphragmatic breathing, it became the, the vehicle that was able to house all of those other skill sets and certifications into one powerful modality. Okay. Can you then give us a little more detail then on what is deep diaphragmatic breathing? <laughs> yeah, I got you. Um, so it's a very, it's a simple technique and it's done in through the mouth, out through the mouth. So you're breathing deep down into the diaphragm, into your belly. So, you know, if I was, I do this example when I'm doing live events and I say, okay, on the count of three, everybody take a huge breath and they take a huge breath and you see everyone's chest move and their clavicles move and but really their belly is supposed to move because if you ever watch a, a fish or a baby, watch a baby breathe, when the baby breathes in, the belly moves and our bellies don't move because our diaphragms are all stuck and they have all this trauma and tension. So we actually forgot how to breathe and they call that paradoxical breathing. So the deep diaphragmatic breathing is bringing that energy, that vitality, that life force deep into our diaphragm and it just brings you alive. I've I've wondered what the difference is because just like you mentioned, I've taken those deep breaths and they do feel differently when we pull the breath into a different part of our bodies. So thank you for that description. So setting even a, a deeper foundation for our talk today, could you introduce us to the concept of breathwork detox? And so how does that type of deep breathing help our mental and physical well-being? Yeah, so breathwork detox, yes, it's deep diaphragmatic breathing, but it isn't all in one physical, mental, and emotional detox. And it's a mental detox because it gives you profound clarity. So when you're doing this technique, right around eight to 12 minutes, the brain goes into transient hypofrontality, which is a fancy word for flow state. And you get all these creative ideas and answers to questions that you've been seeking, and you become your own life coach in in that moment, which is beautiful. You have this like connection to your higher self and higher intelligence and emotional detox is the body. It holds on to the past. The body keeps score and it's a living library of all these experiences. And how do we cleanse the body? Well, back in the day, they called this breathwork technique body washing because it washed the body of emotions and it kind of got lost, but this is how we do it. We, we cleanse the emotional body with the breath and then the physical detox Well, one of the things that blew my mind, even as a facilitator, is I created this program called Breathwork Bootcamp, and it was a 30-day challenge. And it was meant to just, you know, cleanse your emotions and your mind and give you clarity. 
and kind of get you unstuck. However, people were sending us photos of their waistline saying they lost 12 pounds, they lost eight pounds, they lost 11 pounds. And I'm like, why is everyone losing weight? And then I started to do this research. And then I realized that, you know, we're all trying to detox and, you know, lose weight, but 70% of the body's toxins are released through the lungs. And 8.5 out of every 10 pounds of weight loss is through carbon dioxide, is through breath work. And all these people started losing weight. And also like when you're doing this technique, there's no other natural modality out there, because I'm certified in many of them, that eradicates the body of stress. And when the body has too much stress, the adrenals produce cortisol and co cortisol is responsible for making you crave sugary foods. Mm -hmm. So the more stressed you are, you want to grab that, you know, that dessert. And, and ironically, if you stress spelled backwards is dessert. So I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> so it releases, it releases those uh, natural cravings and it's a, I call it a guilt-free weight loss program. So physical, mental, and emotional detox all in one. All in one. Side note, I'm really interested in this um, Breathwork 30-day boot camp that you have. So we'll talk about that a little later on in our conversation, but I'm very interested in that. And I feel like my listeners will be as well. So I will um, touch back on that one. But I, since I'm really interested in how the, the sessions may go, can you walk us through a typical breathwork session, uh, maybe even including some of the techniques that you use and some of the other outcomes that participants may experience? Yeah. So, you know, when people hear breathwork, there is many different types of breathwork. So I focus on, you know, training, certifying, and guiding people through breathwork detox with it, which is an extremely cathartic form of breathing. It's like, on a one to 10, let's say one is just like, you know, a nice in through your nose, out through the mouth. Like that's the one, right? Yeah. This is a 10 as far as the results and how profound it is. And they say breath work is like 20 years of therapy in one session without saying a word. And it's really hard to wrap your, someone's brain around that concept of how can a breathing technique give me 20 years of therapy? And it's because it cleanses the emotional body and it, and it just relieves the body of all these things it's been holding on to unbeknownst to the conscious mind. So that process is, is extremely transformational. Hi. So you mentioned that this works to relieve stress and trauma from your entire body. Would you say then that it's specific to an age group or a certain type of people, or is this something that anybody can benefit from? Yeah, that's a, that's a great point because even the go-to modalities that are current right now, meditation and yoga, there's still barriers to entry and yoga one, you know, 54% of the population can't bend down and touch their toes. Mm -hmm. Elderly people can't move the way younger people are. Obese people uh, have, have issues as well. And then people who are just body shaming, who don't want to wear spandex and leotards to a yoga class, you can wear, you can come as you are fully clothed and you just lie down on your back and you go through this transformational experience. So anybody can do this. And then even like meditation, I think meditation is actually an advanced practice because the world is stressed out. Statistics show this, right? And if you try to get somebody who's already stressed out to sit down, sit still, and don't think of thought for the next 20 minutes, they're going to get more stressed out. Yep. You know, so there's no barrier to entry with that with breath work because we're not asking you to calm your mind and mind you when you say calm your mind, that's 55,000 thoughts per day that the average human has. And we're telling them to distill them down to one, one thought. It's very difficult. So it's, this is designed for everybody. Okay. And so even with that, so it's, it's available to everyone or it could be available. It's uh, useful for everyone. What does that, what does it look like? Can you kind of walk us through that a little bit further? Give us some more details about what the session actually looks like. Yeah. So you, you'd come to a session and there'd be about 15 minutes of an introduction to the experience they're about to have and explaining the actual technique and the things to expect to have a breakthrough right there and then. So you, that's the first part. And then they go in to the act of breath work, which is anywhere between 26 to 31 minutes, let's say roughly. And it's done in through the mouth, out through the mouth. So it's all mouth breathing. Now I will say 99.9% .9 of the time you should be breathing through your nose, but you cannot achieve 
the level of detox and, and clearing and healing by nose breathing. It can, this can only be achieved with the mouth breathing. And it's a three part breath. It's two breaths in one breath out in conjunction. I'm giving motivational messages. I'm giving NLP techniques because when they're going through this experience, they are going through different trance states and altered states of consciousness and releasing things that don't serve them. And I'm replacing them with more healthier belief systems. This is the reason why people implement breathwork practices. It's like habit stacking because there's so many things happening at once and people are able to uh, create new habits and get rid of old habits much, much faster when they implement this. And there's also music playing because music, it opens portals uh, within us. That's why you hear a song. It brings you back to this, you know, time when you were a teenager or you hear a song and you just want to cry because it reminds you of this moment you broke up with your boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever it may be. Right. Yeah. So we use that to our advantage and we bring people through these emotional states because sometimes you have to feel it to heal it. So we want to tap into that stuff because if not, it stays lodged in the body, like we talked about before, and it wreaks havoc on our nervous system. And this is why people have all types of stress and anxiety and don't feel comfortable in their own bodies is because they're holding on to so much baggage. And, you know, sometimes it's not the weight of the baggage. It's how you carry it. And we just learn to carry it well, because we got bills to pay. <laughs> Absolutely. 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 So speaking on bills and challenges in life, what are some of the misconceptions or the challenges that people may encounter when they're trying to start or, or get into breathwork practices and how can they be overcome? Yeah. So uh, the, the first barrier is trying it because I think it's very, it's so unassuming breathwork and it's so underrated. And like I said, I'm very analytical, logical, skeptical person by nature. I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> so it, it, it was so hard for me to wrap my brain around how a breathing technique could produce so much transformation. And I think that if you try to invite somebody to a, a breathing event, they're not, it's not going to connect and it's hard to convince people, which is really my, my job of trying to articulate what they're going to experience. But the most success we've had has been through all word of mouth because those people who do say yes, who answer the call, who hear that call and answer the call and they have their experience, they're rant, they're ranting and raving about it for weeks and months, telling all their friends and their family. And that's how people come. So just trying it. And then to get into a practice, we've made that easy at breathwork detox. We have, we have memberships, we have dedicated breathwork coaches that we assign to our members. So we walk our, walk people through this, hold their hands with the experience, 30 day challenge. And then we have a community of breathers that are encouraging people to, to, you know, finish the 30 day challenge. So it's really what our whole business model is, is, is creating that safe space for people to create, to make this a practice in their life. We'll be right back after word from our sponsor. Most of us spend more time at work than anywhere else doing anything else. So why not spend that time in a job you love? Introducing Triad's Jobs Marketplace, the only job site dedicated specifically to behavioral and mental health professionals. Featuring more than 1,000 open jobs from dozens of behavioral and mental health employers and searchable by location, professional field, employment type, specialization, and more. Jobs Marketplace helps you find your next career opportunity. Full-time, part-time, or gig time, make the most of your time. To access Jobs Marketplace, register for your free professional account at hellotriad.com slash BHT. That's hellotriad.com slash BHT. And then click to Jobs Marketplace. If you're already a member of the Triad community, visit app.hellotriad.com slash jobs. That's app.hellotriad.com slash jobs. Visit us today and take your next career step tomorrow. Nice. I really like that there isn't just one session and then you're left to, to do all of the work on your own, like a, a follow through. I really... Um, I really appreciate that. And I think that um, listeners may as well. So that is quite interesting to me. Earlier, we talked about maybe even yoga and some other things that people may use to relieve stress. So 
how do you see breathwork detox fitting into that type of holistic approach or any type of holistic approach um, to health and wellness? So along alongside things like I can mention meditation, mindfulness, maybe even exercise. So does it go with it? Can it be used as a complement? Do you not need the other things? Yeah. So they did a study, Harvard did a study and they stated that 60 to 90% of all doctor's visits are stress related. So again, the world's stressed out. So this modality, you know, because it's a physical, mental, emotional detox all in one, and it's, it's, it's breathing, it's accepted. This is how we were able to get breathwork detox into fortune 500 companies such as Nike and NASA. And we've, done an event for the Capital Group, which is a financial institution that manages about 2.3 trillion in assets. So these are, you know, when you're talking about NASA, you're talking about left brain rocket scientists and finance people, they're very skeptical. So breathwork is for me, it's been the Trojan horse, you know, to this world of mindfulness and, and awakening because it's just breathing, quote unquote. So these corporations and companies are willing to try it. And when they do try it, it just blows their mind where both Nike and NASA went on record saying that it was the mo it was the most impactful event that the company has experienced. And even Nike went on to create a, a breath campaign uh, in Q1 of, of, of last year, and uh, I think this year. And, you know, people are, are, are more open to it. So you can replace it with other things. You can add it in. It's just totally up to you. My, the whole purpose of why I built this is because I feel people don't have a lot of time. They don't have a lot of, you can't do all these yogas and do all these meditations and do all these supplements and do all these things we'd love to. So you have to be very mindful of where you allocate your energy because we cannot do everything. So we do live in a microwave society where people want to see results and they want to see results fast. And you know, meditation and yoga are great. I do them. Don't get me wrong. But unlike yoga and meditation, the results of breathwork detox are immediate and undeniable from just one session. Right. And so you did mention just now um, that Nike used even some of your thought processes from their work with you in breathwork detox to create some ad campaigns. So that tells me that there are some trends happening in the business world um, to use this type of technique to improve maybe their business mindset and things like that. Can you tell us about any specific trends or patterns that you might notice in other participants after they have engaged in that in the breathwork detox? Yeah, I mean, the that's probably the most magical part of breathwork is how it impacts people's lives. And at the, at the lowest level of transformation that I've seen is it eradicating stress from people's life. People who just have too much accumulated stress and they do this and they just feel lighter and more buoyant and just more free in their body. And then there's some really almost unbelievable type of healings, miraculous healings that I've seen. And, you know, my story's being one of them. For five years, I, I suffered from a stomach condition that doctors couldn't heal me. They couldn't even properly diagnose me. And I did every colonoscopy, endoscopy, swallowed pill cameras, best doctors from LA to New York, and they couldn't fix me. And I was suffering so bad. I remember I checked myself into LA, uh, the hospital, and I said, cut me open. Just go in and see what's wrong because these tests aren't finding anything. And I thought I had some like stealthy parasite that I got from traveling to Thailand and India. And I was like, I'll sign the waiver, just go in. And luckily they didn't cut me open. <laughs> and I, shortly after I found this breathing technique, which is the foundation of breathwork detox. And in one session, it completely healed my stomach condition that I was suffering for five years. And I had to sit with that, you know, for a little bit, like I said, I wrapped my brain around that. And then once I realized that out of all the things that I've done, I've been 14 times ayahuasca in the Amazon rainforest jungle. So I, I've done many, many things and this breathing technique did it. And I said, you know what? I'm exiting all the companies that I have equity or shares in and anything that's not bringing transformation or good to this world, I'm, I'm exiting it and I'm just doing this and bringing this to the world. They need to know that this exists because I was already a decade in to this world before I found this. So I knew the average human who needs this didn't know that this existed. Wow. 
So you just actually shared your own hallmark story of the benefits of breathwork detox, but can you share um, any other story of other than a group or maybe even another participant, um, one specific person on how their life was transformed and what does success look like for them? Yeah. I mean, we, we have success stories with teachers who first get certified and then companies are calling them and paying them, you know, nine, $10,000 to come and lead a breathwork for their company. And one lady, I remember she got flown in in a helicopter from New York to the, the guy's company and, and led the breath work. And I love those stories because I want to see my teachers successful. And then I've seen miraculous stories, um, but we are spiritual beings by nature. We're made up of more energy than we are matter. And a lot of our physical pains, ailments, and conditions uh, stem from our energetic bodies. And this is what I've learned, not just Western medicine, but Eastern medicine and traveling to places like Tibet and India and, and all around. And when you're able to release an energetic blockage, like I did in my stomach, which allowed me to heal, I have have multiple stories of women being able to get pregnant who couldn't get pregnant for eight, 10, 12 years with their husband. And we're just getting ready to give up because they're hitting that, that, that age. And they did a breath work and they felt this energy lift from their, you know, you know, from their uterus and whatnot. And they got pregnant within weeks after. Now I've heard that story multiple times. And I'm just waiting for one of these people to name their baby after me, Curtis, you know, <laughs> but it hasn't happened yet, but I've, I've got a bunch of stories. And, and then, uh, there was another one where this lady was, was lying down and she was breathing and she had communication with her, uh, father who had passed away, but it wasn't her father. It was her friend who she brought, brought with her. And he came to her and was like, Hey, my daughter is struggling with something and she's not telling anybody, but she's going to be okay. And they came out of the breath work. She was, Hey, I have to ask you something. She's another girl's like, no, I need to tell you something. She's like, well, no, no, no. Like, she's like, I have cancer and I haven't told anybody and I'm, I'm scared. But in my breath work, I just got that. I have to talk about it. It's my story. And the girl goes, well, guess what? Your, your father, she goes, you know, who's not alive, obviously, uh, came to me and told me that you have cancer and you're going to be okay. And then that night she actually went home and in the bathroom, in the toilet, there was a tumor that went out in the toilet. And she actually healed from it on the spot. So that's one story that I thought was pretty amazing now, but there's plenty of stories like that, that happen. And I call those miraculous stories, but there's ones that just like, if you're battling crippling anxiety or panic attacks and you do this and you're able to alleviate yourself from that, that alone is life-changing because anxiety can ruin your life. And how do I know? Cause I have had crippling anxiety. I wrote a whole book called how to thrive in the age of anxiety. And people think, you know, I'm like this master breathwork coach because I, you know, this is my business is what I do. And they think I'm the best breather in the world. Well, newsflash, I'm actually the worst breather in the world. That's why I went into this field because I couldn't have the life that I wanted to live. And I found the tool that was able to transform my body, my mind and my spirit. So I can get up and do a podcast in front of people and, you know, not have to crawl under a rock afterwards. Do you feel like breathwork detox works the best to to relieve the the stress and then the the cortisol levels in our bodies? Is the key the guided messages that go along with it? Is the the connection between those messages and the deep breathing? Yeah, it's it's absolutely the technique because you're flooding your system with pure oxygen, which oxygen is life force energy. It's vitality energy. I mean, you can go years without sunlight months without food, weeks without water, but only minutes without the breath. It's the most essential element. So when you flood your system with this oxygen, it, it, it clears out anything that you're holding on to. And those are the things that we're holding on to is what causes the stresses and, and anxieties and what allows it to build up. So absolutely, it's the technique. Now, the, the messages in the N NLP, that's what helps reprogram the mind. So when people come, they'll, they'll, still, they'll all say the same thing when they come to a breathwork, cause we'll take surveys and we're gathering information and we want to know how to communicate this product to people. And they all say, I came to get a reset. Oh, I came to get a reboot. Like I, I feel stuck. I need to get unstuck. <laughs> so they'll come to a breathwork session to get that, to get that reset. Nice. nice. I, I like that it is considered a reset or, or a reboot because we definitely all could use that um, at different points and maybe even continuously uh, throughout our lives. So I appreciate that. 
So then what advice would you give to someone who is interested in incorporating breathwork detox or just interested in, in learning more about it into their routine, but they aren't sure where to begin? What does step one look like? How do they do it? I mean, you can go to Dr. YouTube and Professor Google. I mean, that's that's always the go-to and you can just learn, learn more. Um, you know, but sometimes searching when you don't know what you're searching for is difficult. So, you know, this is the whole reason why I wrote the book, Breathwork Detox, How to Thrive in the Age of Anxiety. It teaches you everything that you need to know about breathwork. It gives you tips, tools, tricks, techniques inside of the book. And it's just, I just put it all in one place so people didn't have to go searching in all these places. And if there was other breathwork books that I felt were valuable, I cited them inside the book as well. But it, that is like a, a really broad understanding of breathwork. And then I go double click into breathwork detox. So that's one. Um, and if somebody wants to have an experience, they're like, okay, you know, I could read about it, but what if I can experience it for myself? We do virtual events. So I personally lead a virtual event every two weeks online. So people come, they'll put on their headphones. I, I, I give my, my keynote, I explain the technique and in the comfort of their own home, I guide them through a transformational session. And we do those every new moon and full moon. So it's, it's like clockwork <laughs> that we do them and they can try that way. And I believe my assistant created a code for your people. So I believe it's Charlie 50. They can get 50% off their first breath work and they can come and tend and learn firsthand through me. And even if it's not through me, my advice to them would be make sure that your first time is with a, a, a certified facilitator, somebody who knows what they're doing, because that first one, it means so much because you only get one chance to make a first impression, right? So you need to be guided right. And then so you can choose to do it on your own after then or, or whatnot, but definitely do it with a facilitator. Okay. So you mentioned certified. Somebody needs to be your teachers or participants need to make sure that they are learning from a certified teacher. Can you tell us more about this certification program and what what is it and how can people get into it? Yeah, I, I believe... You know, typically people who want to help people, whether they're already a personal trainer, a nurse, a um, consultant, whatever. We, we certified psychic shamans, lawyers, all different types of people, but ultimately people who want to help people, who want to make an impact in the world. We want to certify them in the most powerful modality out there, po most powerful natural modality. So a lot of my time goes into certifying teachers, pouring into the teachers and teaching them everything that I know about breathwork, but not just about breathwork. It's also about creating your breathwork business or how to integrate it into your current business. So they all feed each other and then how to get clients. Cause you know, the, a lot of people miss that marketing spot and I'm not, I'm not interested in taking your money, getting you certified and saying, good luck. Right. I want to give you all this knowledge and wisdom. So you go out there and you crush it. So, that's what I focus on my trainings is helping them build their breathwork business, whether it's you know, incorporating into what they have or starting something new and fresh and, you know, want a, want a new chapter. Nice. Nice. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that. So Curtis, you've given us a lot of information today, um, a lot about your, your specific work with breathwork detox, um, some of your events, as well as your certifications. Where can our listeners learn more about you? Yeah. So about me personally, you can go to my Instagram, which is man from the stars and you can communicate with me. I'm, I'm pretty good getting back to people. I try to do it within 48 hours. And if you are interested in breathwork, you can go to breathworkdetox.com, breathworkdetox.com. And then you'll see all the programs, all of our, our event schedules, and they can use that code Charlie 50 and come see what all the hype's about. Awesome. Well, I am excited about that. And again, Curtis, I really appreciate you speaking with us today. Awesome. Thank you so much. I had fun. It was entertaining and engaging, and I hope your listeners loved it. Absolutely. And I want to thank you, our listeners, for taking the time to join us. The resources for this episode and an archive of all of our other episodes can be found on our webpage at triadhq.com slash bht. And we look forward to having you back with us next time on Behavioral Health Today. We appreciate all the support from our community, and if you like our show, one of the best ways you can support it is by giving us a five-star rating and leaving a review. Behavioral Health Today is a podcast part of the Tried Behavioral Health Network, all rights reserved.